welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today I have a really fun tutorial for you and not only is it fun but it is super functional. I'm going to be showing you how to make these double zipper pouches. They're really pretty easy if you're afraid of zippers or you haven't tried a zipper before. Stick with me for this tutorial because I think you're going to like it. We just need a few supplies to get started so let's take a look. Supplies for this project are really easy. Exact cutting instructions for all of these pieces will be in the video description below this video. So just click the show more link that will all be there. You'll want some batting or fusible um, fleece, whatever you prefer. You could also use interfacing, it doesn't really matter. I like to use batting because I just have it left over from my quilts. You'll also need some fabric for your lining, the outside of your bag, the front smaller pocket, and then a couple other little pieces for your zipper pulls. You'll also need two different zippers and I've just got six 16 inch zippers here. Um, I think 12 to 16 would be fine. You'll also need some basic sewing supplies, pins, or I actually really like these wonder clips. You'll need a rotary trimmer, a ruler. I like these friction erasable pins just to mark things with and then your sewing machine and that's it. Let's go ahead and get started on this fun project. So the first thing we're going to do here is cut our zipper down to 11 inches because that's the width of our bag. So the first thing I'm going to do is chop off this kind of metal chunk back here. Now make sure before you do this that you have 11 inches beyond that to kind of play with. But I'm just going to get rid of that because it's kind of cumbersome and I don't want to be accidentally sewing over it. So there goes that. Now from this point we are going to measure 11 inches. I'm going to turn mine around because it's a little bit easier and place the end of my zipper at the 11 inch mark and I can see that it's gonna come right here. So what I wanna do is just make a mark right there. So as you can see, I have a little mark right there. I'm just going to pull my zipper pull past that point so that it's out of the way. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and chop that off right there. Now this next step is optional, but I kind of like to do it just because I think it makes it a little bit easier to work with, but I'm just going to bring this over to my sewing machine and I'm just going to sew across that just to hold these loose edges together. Makes it a little bit easier when we're installing our zipper later. All right, so here we go. It's nothing fancy. I just ran a couple stitches there. It just kind of helps our zipper from being floppy. The next thing we're going to do is add our little zipper pulls to it. Now in the instructions it says to cut a piece that is one inch by four inches. That is because I have a one inch wide zipper. If your zipper is a little bit wider or thinner, um, just cut these pieces to that width, but still do the four inches in length. The next thing you're gonna do is just press in the short edges by one quarter of an inch and then fold that whole thing in half and press that. And honestly, I just kind of eyeballed this. Doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to put it into our little piece of fabric here, pushing our zipper all the way up to that crease. And then just folding it in half. And you can use a wonder clip here or some pins or whatever you have on hand just to kind of keep that in place. And then I'm going to pull my zipper to the center and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and just slip that right into the end there. And then I'm just gonna take this over to our machine and I'm gonna run a stitch right down here and right down here to secure these little kind of decorative ends onto our zipper. So now we have attached our little tabs to the end of our zipper. It should be measuring about 11 inches now. If it's just slightly longer, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, we're going to go ahead and work on the smaller front pocket first. So this smaller front pocket has two different lining pieces. One is, I think, six inches and the other one is seven. We're going to take the six inch piece for right now. So just set that seven inch piece aside. We're also going to take the front pocket piece. We're going to lay that fabric right side up and then we're going to take our zipper with the tab going towards the right and we're going to lay it zipper pull side down on top of that and just kind of center it if your piece is, uh, like I said, if it's a little bit longer, you're fine. Just let it kind of hang off the edge. Just center it lining up those raw edges. Then we're going to take our piece of six inch lining and put that right sides down on top of there. I'm going to throw a couple of wonder clips on here just to keep everything in place. And we're going to take this to the machine and sew a quarter of an inch or as close as you can get to these zipper teeth uh, with, I'm just going to use my regular foot. You could also put on a zipper foot if you would like. Um, I just like to show you that you can also do it with a regular foot just in case you don't happen to have a zipper foot at home. 
Now we're coming to our zipper pull, so I'm just going to lift my presser foot up but leave my um, needle in the down position. And then I can kind of just get under here and slide that foot back out of the way, or the zipper pull, sorry, out of the way. And then I can just keep on going. I'm just gonna make sure everything is still nice and lined up. Now I'm gonna take this over to my ironing board and I'm just gonna press both of these pieces back just so they're nice and tidy. And then I'm just gonna run a top stitch right along this edge just to give it a more finished edge. It also helps everything lay the right direction. So here is our finished kind of front of our pocket. Now we're gonna add the lining for it. So we're gonna take our seven inch piece, the taller piece. We're gonna lay that right side up. I know it's hard to tell because I've got kind of a low volume print here, but you want your pretty side of your fabric facing up. You also want to lie this right along that top edge facing up. And then you're gonna take your two inch by 11 inch strip and lay that down on top of this right side down. Now I'm gonna pull my zipper out of the way just so that I can sew and for quite a ways before I have to kind of get it out of my way. I'm gonna go ahead again and use a couple of Wonder Clips here. Just clip everything in place and then we're gonna take this to the machine and again using a quarter of an inch seam or as close as you can to these zipper teeth, run a straight stitch all the way down this top edge. I'm gonna go ahead and press this just like I did the other one and then run a top stitch along the top of that as well. All right, so here we have our front panel pretty much done. The only thing we need to do is kind of trim it up. And if you'll notice, I have a little bit of fabric left on here. That is because I wanted to give you guys a little bit of extra based on the thickness of your zipper. Some zippers are thinner, thicker. I used a one inch zipper, but like I said, you might have used something else. So now we're going to trim this piece up. So it's eight inches tall by 11 inches wide. And so I'm just going to place my ruler on here. And there's my eight inch marker right there. So I'm just gonna be trimming off a little bit off the bottom here. And it's a little tricky with this zipper pull in here, so just do your best. All right, so this piece is virtually ready to go, and now we pretty much just need to kind of start assembling our bag. So I bought in the rest of our pieces here. This is the back of our bag, this is the lining, and here's our batting. And what I wanna go ahead and do at this point is trim out the corners of all of these and I'm gonna do them kind of separately. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our ruler and we're just going to mark a little one inch corner and actually I'm gonna do three quarters of an inch. Sorry. We're just gonna mark a three quarters of an inch corner out of the edges of all of these pieces. So now we're ready to assemble our bag. So we're going to set the front aside for just a second and one of our lining pieces aside. And we're going to start with the back of the bag. We're going to take our zipper and we're going to lay it so that the zipper pull is facing towards the left and right side down. We're just gonna line that up and I just like to center it. As you can see, I have plenty of zipper here on the edges. Don't worry about that. Just center it for right now. Just make sure your zipper pull is going over toward the right side of your fabric. Then we're gonna take one of our lining pieces and we're going to place that right sides down on top of there. If you'd like, you can throw in a couple of wonder clips. Again, we're gonna take this over to our sewing machine and sewing as close to our zipper teeth as possible. We're just going to do a straight stitch right down this edge. So your piece should be looking like this. I'm gonna go ahead and take it over to my ironing board and I'm going to press it and then we'll run a stitch right across the top of here just to finish it off. So here's our finished piece and now we're going to attach it to the front. So we're gonna take the front pocket that we created and line it right side up and then we're gonna take the piece we just created and lay that right sides down, line up the zipper along this top edge and then just make sure your sides are lined up. And then we're gonna take our other lining piece and line that along the top there 
right side down. Just make sure your little notches are all going towards the bottom. And then again, we're gonna take this over to our machine and run a stitch right down this top edge. All right, and now I'm going to open this bag up just like I did before. Take this over to the ironing board and press this seam and then just run a top stitch along it again. Okay, so this is what we should have right now. We should have the outsides on one side, the lining pieces on the other side, and the zipper in the center. The next thing we're gonna do is pull our zipper tab, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it pretty far down here. And then I'm gonna take the right sides of the bag and fold those together, and take the lining pieces and fold those together so they are right sides touching. So now you should have something that looks like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold my zipper teeth so they're going towards the lining and place the clip there. And then on this side, as you can see, my zipper teeth are facing toward the lining. I'm gonna place another clip there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put just a couple clips all the way around the outside of the bag just to hold it in place. All right, now that we have everything pinned in place, we're gonna sew around the outside edges of this bag. So I'm gonna leave about a four inch opening down here in the lining. I'm gonna sew down these sides, these sides, and this other side so that we're basically going all the way around our bag but leaving an opening here. And I'll probably backstitch on top of the zipper here just to give it a little more strength. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is just pull these pieces open and line up this little short edge that we cut off. We're just gonna sew right along that edge. I like to flip one of my seams this way and the other the opposite direction, just so that they aren't quite as bulky. So our bag should be looking something like this. I'm gonna go ahead now and just chop off my excess zipper here. Get that out of our way. And then we can just push our bag through the opening in our lining. I'm actually gonna open my zipper a little more. And there we go. And I'm gonna stick my hand in here and press out our little baby boxed bottom. And just make sure your little boxed bottoms turned out okay. If they didn't, now would be the time to fix those. That isn't my preferred method of boxing a bottom. If you would like to see how I normally do it, check out any of my other videos. Um, I think this one has room for error because you can accidentally kind of maybe get this blue fabric over onto the white side. So if that happens to you, don't panic. Just pull your bag back right side out and fix it. Otherwise, ours look okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move on, and I just need to press these little edges in, about a quarter of an inch on my opening here, and then take this over to the machine, stitch it up, and we're virtually done. And here we go. All we have to do is tuck in our lining. I like to press out this corner of my zipper there. Make sure everything's nice and tidy. Um, I will also usually bring this over to the ironing board and just kind of press it just to make sure everything's flattened. So that's it. As you can see, this project was super fun and easy to make. As you can see, I did a couple different fabric choices on here. If you guys are curious, these fabrics are from Poppy Cotton. I will try and make sure to link her below. She has really fun and whimsical fabrics to play with. Here's kind of a close up of the bunny fabric and then here is hers, I believe this is called Wanderings uh, fabric line. So these were really fun fabrics to play with and I love how these bags turned out. I think they'd be great for any kind of crafting supplies. I like to put my knitting supplies in here, everything that I kind of use on a frequent basis. That way I can just grab this little bag and know I have all my supplies handy. But of course you can put anything you want in these. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That way I know to keep making these kind of fun projects for you. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you next time.